Hey guys, it's me Zell, and I am back with more reaction content because we have Ahsoka is now out, so that's very exciting! This is my excited face. <laughs> so I, uh, oh yeah, one note, if you hear that sound in the background, that's my dog chewing on a bone, so please forgive. Hopefully you can not be bothered by it too much. Um, but yes, so I have done my darndest to go in as uninformed about Ahsoka as possible. So I haven't seen any of the trailers, I haven't seen any of the teasers, all of the photo announcements, all of the character announcements. So I'm going in as much as possible into this with it, no expectations. As much as I know about it, you know, obviously I've heard little things here and there. I have some ideas of what to expect. I obviously know Dave Filoni called it Rebels 2.0, which as a Rebels fan myself, I am super excited about. So no complaints there. But my whole thing was I know what watching a lot of content and expectations can do. It can maybe have an idea of what's to come and be less surprised because a lot of trailers I have found have been revealing a lot of things and ruining the fun. So that's just me, how I feel. And I didn't want to theorize anything. I wanted to be completely walking into it with no idea and just enjoy with what I'm seeing. I know with the more that I look into something and I have this expectation and then it's different, um, I will probably wind up disappointed. So not to mention that they way market over marketed the show. I mean, Disney's very good about marketing, but that's just me. They kind of did a lot, which can be worrisome. Either they really are proud of it or they're trying to really just get people to sell it, uh, buy it. <laughs> Either way, I'm going in with the expectations to enjoy just seeing live action, Ahsoka again, and other content. But I can go into that more about after and after the episodes and after the show, of course. Um, but just that um, knowledge up front. I also, obviously, I have come into this with all, watched the entirety of the Clone Wars, the entirety of Rebels, where Ahsoka is highlighted in both of those. And then obviously when her live action character in the Mandalorian, um, and I think it's just a Mandalorian, but other, other places, you know. So with all that said, I'm excited to see this. I uh, tried very hard not to even think too much about it, as weird as that might sound. I'm somebody that typically tends to not let myself get excited about something and overhype it, because then more often than not, nothing will match the hype that I can internalize. So I like, I rather be surprised and disappointed. So that was my method to my madness. So if I sound like, oh, shocked, that's probably because I actually probably didn't know. Or either way, I'm just trying to go into it genuine, enjoying, have a good time. So that's what it's about. Um, yeah, I think that's all I need to say up front. I'm excited about it. Obviously, people don't want to hear too much blah, 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 at the front. And I think I already ruined that. But if you're still here, hey, otherwise, we're going to get to the reaction of Ahsoka episode one, season one, or maybe the only season. All right, let's get to it. Galactic Empire has fallen, and a new Republic has risen to take its place. However, sinister agents are already at work to undermine the fragile peace. The plot is underway to find the lost Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn and bring him out of exile. Once presumed dead, rumors are spreading of Thrawn's return, which would galvanize the Imperial remnants and start another war. Four more Jedi Knight Ahsoka Tano captured one of Thrall's allies and learned of a secret map, which is vital to the enemy's plan. Ahsoka now searches for the map as her prisoner, Morgan Elspeth, is transported to the New Republic for trial. Ooh, that's cool intro. Oh my gosh, I, I forgot this was live action for a second. 
Is this a new kind of ship? Very round. Entering sector G38, Captain. Very Star Trek ship. The ship has entered this sector. Ask them to identify themselves and transmit their clearance code. Yes, sir. All those humans. Mm, that looks ship imperial. Approaching. They're Jedi. <gasps> Say again? The signal is an old Jedi clearance code. I'm calling their bluff. Signal them to come aboard. I want to meet these Jedi. Have security meet me in the hangar. Is it fake? You've got the bridge. Yes, sir. True. Oh my gosh. Literally all the same. That's hilarious. I thought, I guess the style of it looked Imperial, but maybe not. Okay. If you don't mind me saying, it's quite a surprise beating Jedi out here. Hmm. Our existence remains a mystery to most, Captain Hale. Who be you? You're no Jedi. Just some overconfident Imperial trash who just pushed their luck too far. Oh, oh. You're making a mistake. Uh -oh. and you, sir, should have surrendered when the Empire collapsed. Jacris, get RD3 to scan these imposters for identification. Allow me to show you our identification. Uh oh, uh oh. Yep. <gasps> uh, yeah, I called it. You're right about one thing, Captain. We are We're no Jedi. Jedi. Bro. Is this, do you think, connected to the Acolyte? Mm. Oh my gosh. Balin, you are true to your word. And well paid for it, Lady Morgan. Balin? Do I know that name? She knows about Thrawn. Who is this Jedi? Ahsoka Tano. Come on, you gotta know that name. I forgot the show was about her for a minute, you know? There she is, there she is, there she is. Oh, just like reference shot. Oh, cute. She's just a baby. I like her wearing that robe. My goodness. Lakey look good. Hmm. Fifth element. Aha. Your very own orb. Just like the one. Oh, it's the map. Duh. Well, where there is Thrawn, there's somebody else, hopefully. Oh, yay. Freaking freak. Oh! This is a little bit red light, green light. Oh. It is a droid. Come no closer. Give it to us. Give it to us. Us. Sorry. Us. Definitely not. Just going in the hole. Aha! One at a time. No. Ooh, 
that was good ending sequence. Initiate self destruct. Uh oh. Okay. How big of a self destruct is it? No, you won't keep going. I don't understand. Oh, it must be a big boy. Oh. I like the both of panic but calm in her voice. Oh my gosh. That was like real good. I arrived when I did. About that. Lay down. Yang, the order doesn't exist anymore. Nonetheless, Wait, he yang. I have my programming. Next time, stay close. I see the guy Watch that's part back. of the Jedi making the lightsabers. That's the job of a Jedi Padawan learner, which I am not. Uh -huh. oh. <gasps> General Sandula, it's good to see you. And you. So I wish it were under more pleasant circumstances. I prepared a briefing to get you caught up. I just have to get over. Just like old times. That doesn't sound like her. Unfortunately. Or have her face. But that's okay. You seem to have abilities like you. These days, there are few who can wield the Force. Perhaps one of them was once a Jedi. Star map? Not just any star map. This one holds the secret Morgan's after. Which is? The location of the last missing Imperial Grand Admiral. Thrawn died at the Battle of Lothal. His death was never confirmed. I started hearing whispers of his return, which led me to Morgan. She was a great ally of Thrawn's during Imperial rule. If Thrawn survived, does that mean Ezra? I hope so. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure she'll want to help. Oh, Sabine? She'll do it. Is this Kickin' the Fall? On this day, several years ago, the Empire was defeated. Thanks to the heroic efforts of Commander Ezra Bridger, who sacrificed himself to liberate oh. our world. This, this monument, monument we monument dedicate here all. today stands in recognition of their courage and commitment never be forgotten. Here to say a few words Wait a second. is one of those rebel leaders. Commander Sabine Wren. <gasps> Sabine Wren. Where is she? I don't know. She was just here. Where did she go? I don't know where she went. Get out there and say something. What? Cover for me. <laughs> Security. I Haven't we seen him in Star Wars street. already? Sabine Wren. Find her now. There's all these like vague things. I'm just like, oh, look, that looks amazing. Bro, he just dipped out. You're a grown up now. And she's got long hair. What do you want, Porter? Governor Zadi's looking for you. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Are you missing the ceremony? Oh, that's I'm just soaking it all up. Oh, Loth, Loth Kitty. Stand down. She gonna bounce. Commander, stand down. Speed. Is she gonna stop? She's or is she just late in them? Oh my gosh. She's going to the tower. Oh. It's beautiful. <gasps> oh, I'm excited most for the Loth Cat. Hey. Oh my Hi. gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, it's got that Muppet vibe, too. And the music. Oh, and her helmet. Oh. Wow, all of the goodies. I love it. <gasps> hey, Sabine. Sorry for disappearing on you. I made this recording because, more than the others, I need you to understand. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else so, can. That's what I did to defeat Thrawn. We've been through a lot. Grew up together in this rebellion. And we're not really family, but you're like a sister to me. I know your fight isn't over, and now I won't be there to help you. But I'm counting on you to see this through. May the Force be with you. Oh, That was so good. She's got a freaking paladin braid. Paladin. Padawan. What was this place? An ancient temple built by my ancestors. The Night Sisters of Daphne. Oh, I was gonna guess that because she's all in red. I don't know why I was feeling that. She's a freaking Night Sister. Bro. There's not much left back there. Is this our first live action Night Sister, Master? Do as she says. Ahsoka Tano's former apprentice is on the Thal. What? You're looking for Sabine Wren. She considers, wait, she considers Sabine a former apprentice? There she is. But it seems like they must have had a falling out or something, or... I think I know how to find Ezra. They did a really good job with casting Sabine. I can see it. You never made things easy for me, Master. There is nothing easy about being a Jedi. Lady Tano, Tension. I have In the last 500 years, I've only known one student who built a saber such as this. Balan Skull. He disappeared at the end of the Clone Wars. Of course, you may not be alone for much longer. Are we saying that Sabine? Maybe. I didn't realize she was like that much of a force. Mentoring someone is a challenge. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Ha <laughs> ha But it's true. Anakin never got to finish my training. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. And the Jedi. Sometimes even the right reasons have the wrong consequences. What do we do then? Well, you're of no help. I want one. I have one. Three faces. Oh, piss. He walks real slow. Time to whip it out. Uh-oh. We've been looking for this. That's too bad. Is that a skinny saber? Uh, I think she's probably gonna be more practiced than you. Shit. 
I'm digging this new character a lot. I think she's cool. She has more strength. Sabine's a bit quicker, but... What? No way. Well, there we go. First episode down. Some really exciting things happening. I think Ahsoka looks great. I'm happy with the way Sabine looks. Uh, visually, I'm still wrapping my head around Hera, but I can see obviously the challenges of that. Um, I think it was a little shocking at first seeing Ahsoka. You know, obviously things, characters that were strictly have a lot of paint or alien but also you know having an animated character and then trying to make a live action where if you're a live action to transfer them into animated it doesn't take much to make find something that looks like you because it's based off that um that's why rosaria and all that was um, different versus say like obviously obi-wan anakin those were based off of the actors who played them and tarkin that sort of thing but yeah so that's pretty good um uh, hello, where's Chopper? I wish they would have showed him, but that's fine. Really cool. I finally pieced together Hiang. Yeah, the lightsaber droid with the young Padawan Jedi younglings and them getting collecting and making their saber. So that's fun. He looks great. The droid action looks great. Lothcat, love it. Super fun. Yeah, and then we got to see Ezra, you know, in the little video thing. But hopefully, obviously, we're going to lead to them finding Thrawn and hopefully Ezra. That's what we're hoping for. I'd love to see Zeb. We obviously got that teaser, but I'm not going to hold my breath because who knows where he is. But I would love to see it. Um, he's just so much fun. Getting the gang back together. But yeah, I clearly forgot a lot. I obviously remember Sabine training with the Darksaber and having some small force tendencies, but I did not recall her having that strong. And maybe it's just her Mandalorian. I clearly forgot something. So that's kind of new to me. And I don't know, maybe if they just, I don't think they did change that direction, but it's probably just my memory. I didn't get through my rewatch of Rebels to remind myself of that. Um, so that's on me, but uh, still very fun. Clearly some, you know, clearly Sabine's upset by the Ahsoka not being, st staying one spot and feeling abandoned. Uh, but Ahsoka is, you know, wants to serve in, at many folks and travel around. So I understand and support that too. But like Ahsoka says, she's like, sometimes our choices for the right reasons have some negative consequences. And that's what she's having to deal with and, and try to make up for to Sabine. So, but yeah, I liked that they brought in the whole, she's Mandalorian. She has that stubbornness and the, yeah, that, that will for a fight. She didn't back down at all. She went straight for the lightsaber, straight to this person who was a threat. So she still has that in her. But uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of fun. An interesting concept. Then bringing back another Jedi, um, who I don't recall that name. Balin Skull, Scroll, Scroll. Um, and I don't remember if they named the apprentice. But yeah, we have two master and apprentices here. We're talking about, which is always a fun twist they do. So yeah, I'm ready for the second episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm still cautiously optimistic about the show as a whole. Um, but I enjoy, I am enjoying it now. I am entertained. The fighting sequences are good. I enjoy my, um, references, seeing Lethal. Everything's very beautiful. Um, very well done. The costumes of the Republic is very much in an homage, if not literal interpretation of what we saw in the original movies. You know, kind of that cheesy, you know, not gonna lie, that cheesy look. Um, but that's kind of what the get-ups look like. <laughs> so... You know, they're going for that feel. I can see I can see where they're tying into, you know, wanting to go back and reference exactly what original Star Wars was. Um, and then also, again, I love that the Lothcat definitely seemed like high puppetry, practical effects, 
with obviously some CGI elements, but I, I'm a big fan of uh, um, bringing that in because I think that's, it was well done in the other live action stuff they did. So I'm glad they brought that back. So, but yeah, I'm looking forward to episode two, um, seeing where they continue to go towards that. Oh yeah, and let's not forget, I am super stoked about the Night Sister. you know, the Witches of Dathomir. That's pretty cool. And it's so funny. Like I, I didn't say that out loud before, but that's exactly, I'm like, Hmm, that red, the way the draping of that outfit, like, so kudos to the costume person. Like, they totally were representing that when we haven't seen that in live action. So it's really cool. Very cool indeed. So I'm very curious if they go into more of that. Are they alluding to us seeing that more in the future? You know, obviously we had Ventress in the Clone Wars. We have Marin in, you know, Jedi Fallen Order, Survivor, etc. I'm still gung-ho, you know, <laughs> speaking of Jedi Fallen Order. Anyways, that, seeing live action Cal Kestis, yes please, and Marin and all that, that'd be cool. But that's a side note. So anyways, overall, really well done. I was pleased with it. Happy what I've seen so far and I'm ready for the next thing. So Hope to see you there. If you want to show support and you want to make sure you see when that's uploaded, don't forget to subscribe and like the video because all that goes a long ways to supporting the channel, supporting me, and I will see you on the next one.